going on, Thanks, Ed family? In today's video, we have the biggest 18 inch sub ever made! Yo, 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 hold up, hold up! Got new subs from Big Jeff for you to review on your channel! What? Yo, I'm in the middle of a video. No, man, you gotta get yourself a review on this thing while it's popping. Oh, okay, alright, alright, we'll do it, we'll do it. Stay tuned to see the biggest 18 sub ever next time. Here you go, here you go. Okay, okay, this is pretty cool. What did you say this was? This is the Black Diamond Audio DIA R12 series subwoofer. Of course, dual 4 ohm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's check this guy out. Yo, and as always, tell Big Jeff thank you for dropping off some new stuff to review on the channel. You have phones that man. See what she can take. See what she can do. I gotta run back to old Florida to help out Mr. Big Jeff grab you something else. Y'all, if you want to see me again on this here channel with another... Cool sub! This video better get at least a thousand likes. If it does, I'll be back. Okay, guys, he's kind of a character, but hey, as long as he's bringing me subs to review, I guess I ain't gonna be too mad at it. Let's see what we got here. Now, guys, I know you hate it when you're watching the video, and a sponsor comes up and talking about some iPhone game or Simply Safe or becoming a lord in Scotland or something. Now I've got some offers like that in the past, not what I really wanted to do. So when the guys over at Alfred Audio Group reached out, I was super stoked at the opportunity to work with them. Now specifically, I've done a ton of stuff with Death Bonds, so that's what I have the most experience with. So a couple things I absolutely love about them. One, not cookie cutter whatsoever. Most of their stuff has custom tooled baskets, has its own unique look, not just off the shelf stuff from China. Two, they have absolutely awesome coils, even on some of their more lower end budget stuff. Third, they make some of the most just awesome and windy, big beefy builds out there. I love that they put their money where their mouth is and they do some absolutely awesome stuff in the car audio space. Check out links to Alfred Audio in the description below. Now let's get back to the video, y'all. That's right, y'all. Now, I've done the other Black Diamond subs, but the R-Series was just one I had not gotten around to doing yet. So, Big Jeff brought me one over. Here, of course, are the specs. This time, we got a 12-inch version, 600 watts RMS, 1200 max. Sensitivity is 84.7 dB. Frequency response, 20 to 300 hertz. We have a 2.5-inch voice coil, paper cone, foam surround, stamped steel basket, and a 100-ounce ferrite motor. Now, for all the DS18 fans out there, these subs are literally DS18 subs that are just rebranded and uh, at least generally are a little bit uh, cheaper. So let's take a look at this guy. Medium stiff paper cone. Pretty stiff dust cap. It's got this big mega roll surround. Of course, got that nice black finish. We do have their logo stamped into the steel frame. So that's kind of cool. A little round leaves that are sewn into the spider. And then we've got pretty small terminals on this thing, but they are nice and stiff and they're not like really wobbly. So can't complain too much there. Of course, we have venting along here. There is that two and a half inch coil in there. Coming down here, we just got a sticker here on the bottom. Nothing much there, but it does have a nice black finish on it, of course. 100 ounce single stack motor, you know, decent looking little beginner sub. Y'all know the drill guys, not much to go over here. No point in me blabbing on about this thing. Hey, we're gonna throw this thing in the car. We're gonna let her break in a little bit. Then we're gonna get to the normal testing. Of course, we're gonna let y'all see how it moves. Let y'all hear how it sounds, playing a wide variety of music. Gonna have some rap, gonna have some country, some stuff with some really low bass, some punchy bass. We'll see how it sounds. Then from there, We'll do the dB meter on this guy, see how loud we can get it in the Sequoia. And then, of course, we'll do the RMS test on this thing and see if that 600 watts is really an accurate rating or not. Let's get into it, y'all.
next up, time for the DB test on this guy. Of course, doing this like always, we're going to have our driver's side window open. Of course, the meter over there on the other side in the kick sub is facing the back of the trunk. Let's see what we get, y'all. Let's start this guy out at 45 hertz. All right, 1,500 watts. Hey, on decently low power, though, we did almost get a 140. Y'all, 45 hertz again, but let's bump it up a little bit. 2,677 watts. Oh, uh, only a 139, so we didn't gain anything. All right, y'all, let's try 40 hertz. 2,150 watts. Ah, but only a 137. Not quite as loud as I thought it'd be. Let's try that again. Woo! 3,780 watts. And a 138. All right, let's try 35 hertz. See what that gets us. 2,724 watts. And a 135, guys. We're losing ground. Let's try that again. Woo. 4,718 watts, but only a 136. We got the best score is 45 hertz, so let's turn it up a little more, see if we can squeeze anything else out of this, or are we pretty much maxing out because the ohms are rising so high? 3,412 watts. But, y'all, we did break them to that 140. Got a 141.3. Y'all, let's try 48 hertz just for the heck of it. Ah, y'all, that maxed out so bad. It sounded awful. But 2,498 watts and a 139. All right, y'all, this thing is rated at 1,200 watts max. And you saw there we pushed well over... 4,000 watts through it and y'all it has lived to see another day and hey getting that 141 is a decent score for a pretty low wattage sub all right next up guys we're gonna see what it takes this fella to blow of course gonna do a free air rms test this guy is rated at 600 watts rms so we're gonna push 40 hertz non-stop through it keep it as close to that 600 watts as we absolutely can and we'll see how long it lasts off and of course cars all synced up every time i do this guy just leaves that burnt coil smell in the car for like forever which is just yeah but anyway hey she went so let's pop it open see what the damage is first i wanted to test the coil out so i pulled out the multimeter both of them reading at like 3.8 so the coil itself was not completely blown here it is guys oh that thing was about to let loose and just unwind you can see all those bubbles of where the glue was just melting away. Anyway, yeah, I got that coil just not up to the task. All right, guys, technically, hey, we made it to the three-minute mark before it just actually quit working. That being said, a little after the two-minute mark is when it started sounding really, really bad. What that is, is as, as that glue starts to melt, it starts to smoke off. Everything gets kind of loose, starts rubbing inside there. And at that point, your sub is pretty much useless. So in my opinion, guys, hey, we're probably, probably 600 watts RMS. Totally a fine rating for playing music, but it does not pass my brutal RMS test. That being said, y'all, at least as of the time that I'm filming this, this guy's only 109 bucks over on Big Jeff Audio's website. Same for Amazon, places like that. So like I say, for a super cheap sub, 
It actually sounded fine. It took it took the power burst, no problem. And when you put that into perspective, yeah, 600 watts, it actually lasted a pretty decent time. So overall, for my opinion, guys, for that 109 bucks, this guy is right on par with what I would totally would expect any other sub in his price point to do. So I got nothing to knock it on. It's a good little sub for the cost. Well, y'all, that's gonna do it for the video. Once again, huge shout out to Big Jeff and Black Diamond for sending me this sub to test out and review for y'all on the channel. Of course, link to Big Jeff in the description below if you wanna go pick this guy up. They have great customer service. They ship out stuff super, super fast. So again, huge thank you to him. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for next time. But remember as always, guys, Keep basing on. What's happening, fellas? Lil J here, over on the Parker the Basshead channel. If you like bass, if you like some loud tunes, some shaking windows, some earthquakes beating down the block, then you need to subscribe to this here channel, and of course, go like the Facebook page. Check y'all.